Hello YouTube, this is Kalantre. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Silent T flip-flop. Um, this particular one is of my own design. It works pretty well for my purpose here. I have it set up to a, um, well, a mob system here and it controls when rooms should be flooded with water and when they should empty so that the mobs can respawn. Um, I'm not going to dive behind here to show you how it works, but um, I'll go to a creative world. That way you can kind of get an idea of how the flip-flop works itself. I'll be right back. All right, so here we are in my creative world. This is where everything experimental and fail happens all at once. Um, I just was going to give you an overview on how this uh, T-flip-flop works real quick. Um, the principles behind my design is using an RS NOR latch and an AND gate. So essentially what it does is that the AND gate tells which end of the T flip-flops to activate. Um, at least in so many words without getting into too much detail as well. Um, and so I started to condense that design, which is huge, to something like this. It's still pretty huge. Um, and then it kept going, getting a little bit smaller. Um, I started using different designs of AND gates and, of course, the RS NOR latches. Um, and then I finally came down to something like this. Um, this is very close to what I have currently. It still works, which is kind of nice. Can I give you an idea? Of what this is my prototype, um, honestly. And um, I even benchmarked that with what you call the regular T flip flop, just so you can kind of get, or the regular piston T flop, just so you can get an idea. Um, the only difference is that my design is just a little bit, has a little bit of a latency to it, um, mainly because it's kind of required. It just depends on how long the signal is. Um, but overall, it's pretty good. So if you wanted to um, make something precisely timed, and you know you need that kind of preciseness I go with the piston trust me um, but if you just need it to flip on and off or you know without needing any, spe any specific timings uh, try try the silent variation it will work just fine um, the only side note is that you may need to stabilize the output for a piston because it will double pulse um, and yeah, so there's a couple designs in the wiki on how you do that too. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, so let me go on and show you how this thing is built. Um, it still uses the same exact principles. Um, so we're going to create an RS NOR latch. You start off with the three blocks and this kind of a design. Put a torch here. Normally you'd put a torch up on this end, but we're going to rotate it, put it over here. We end up putting redstone right there and right on top. And that is your RS NOR latch. Um, that would work perfectly fine independently if you really wanted to. But we're going to add a couple more blocks. So we just add two right on the other, other end here. Put some redstone on top of that. And then we're going to add some more blocks. So, so you got two right below there and then you got one we're gonna add redstone to extend that out and we're gonna create our AND gate um, this is the part that tells which side of the flip-flop to work on so what I did was I just added that block just to create this row here um, so yeah this is a, a very familiar design to a lot of you folks um, that's your AND gate right there and let's see, yeah, we're going to need to add in the delay. Okay, and you want to set these guys all the way to full, so you got a total of eight torch delay, and this guy you don't want to touch at all. You just want to keep him as he is. And you are done. Um, you take a look. Works just fine. Um, the benefit to this is that actually you have two outputs, so you have one coming off the top of here, and you also have one that's coming out the bottom here. You can even tie it up to a, this torch, um, but stay away from this one. Um, 
you could improve the performance of this thing too if you wanted. Um, you could connect it up to a monostable circuit and uh, actually reduce the timings over here. I believe you can get it down to the two torch delay, um, but you can't go any less. Uh, I, I can't imagine ever wanting to go any less because uh, why would you have a T flip flop for that quick? Anyhow, um, even if you tried, it would just create a big gap there. Um, so here's an overhead shot. Let me fix that up. Alright, so there's an overhead shot, and thanks for watching.